Sway to the Truth, A Dance Floor Confession. Dear Evie, would you be interested in dancing with me? Having turned his focus to his wife, Evan lifted his eyebrows in a manner that suggested he was intrigued about something. Additionally, Katerina smiled warmly, and nodded her head in agreement. It was not until that point that he stood up and turned his attention to the audience. There was no question in my mind that Mary offered her hand to him. Mary grabbed it and followed him to the dance floor, having followed him there in the first place. Due to the fact that the music was flowing much more slowly than it normally would, Evan took her right hand in his left hand and placed his right palm on her thigh before continuing. Due to the fact that he moved with self-assurance, Mary was able to readily emulate his moves. In spite of the fact that she was shorter and slimmer than he was and that he had broad shoulders, the two of them had a lot of practice dancing together regardless of these differences. She took a quick look at his face, which seemed to be absolutely stunning. With thick eyebrows and big brown eyes that were set deep in the sockets, he had a full head of dark hair that was wavy and graying at the temples. His eyes were also set deep in the sockets. Both his long nose and his chin had a small crookedness to them. His chin had a thin scar that was positioned under his big lips. His nose was also slightly crooked. While she was turning her face over, she looked squarely into his eyes in the hopes that he would look at her. However, he shifted his sight away from her face as she did so. In terms of look, his features were not particularly remarkable. I would like to express my appreciation to you for coming to dance with me. In conclusion, she told me that he gave a slight nod. Without a shadow of a question, Bradley is an exceptionally tall and handsome man, isn't he? His obvious likeness to you cannot be denied, it is impossible to deny this fact. It is really unsettling to see this. I am his father. And on the day of our wedding, he seemed to be an exact clone of you. This is something that I want to bring to your attention. Evan, who was not paying attention to what she was saying, led them across the dance floor. He was not paying attention to this. That your kindness will now be extended to me is something that I am quite hopeful about. The children have informed me that you are currently enjoying a very happy life now that you have entered into a marriage with a new partner. What are you trying to accomplish by continuing to punish me? You are not the target of my retribution. Our history is not the only thing that we have in common, we also have two children together. I know you to be a friend of mine. In the same manner that I treat everyone else, I treat you with the same level of formality. Please let me know what more you require from me. The fact that he had never referred to her by her full name was something that Miriam did not become aware of until much later. Putting it in a familiar way, that is all I intend to convey to you. After everything that we have been through together, I suppose that you can consider yourself fortunate on account of everything that has happened. Tenius is still a problem for Oscar, according to the information that I received. She exhaled once more with a sigh. We are going to make an effort to be present in each other's lives during the holiday season. This includes, spending time with our children, grandchildren, and other members of our siblings' families. Do you find it impossible to forgive me? Miriam, I am able to forgive you for what you have done. Although I am not sure what else you require from me, I will not be able to continue existing if you do not provide it. I am unable to function properly without it. All of the information that I needed to convey to you in my letter was conveyed to you. Never in my life did I intend to cause you pain. It was never my intention to cause harm to our family or to bring an end to our marriage in any manner, shape or form. I have never desired anything even quite similar to this. You did not want to be my closest friend at all, that was all on your mind. The situation was nothing at all like that at all. Please accept the truth that this is what I want and come to terms with it already. To make sure you understand that I did not engage in all of this activity out of spite, my goal is for you to understand that. The fact that it took me three weeks to write this letter is something that I hope you can understand and appreciate. I have not yet had the opportunity to read your letter. Just as you have mentioned. This completely blew my mind because I was unable to comprehend the logic behind it. When Evan stopped moving, Mary did the same thing. Evan also stopped moving. There was no change in the position that they were in overall. It is likely that I poured my whole heart into this letter, nonetheless, I am curious as to why you did not read it. My heart is in this letter. Exactly why do I need this to be done? There are dragons in that region, according to the ancient maps that document the area. 
it is highly possible that I would grow irritated if I were to read that, and I do not want or require either of those things to happen. Marie was taken aback by the news. She did not give any consideration to the chance that Evan would not examine the letter that she had written. That he would be able to appreciate the reasons behind her choice to back out of her vows was the condition upon which all of her hopes and goals were dependent. In his decision to condemn her simply on the basis of her actions, he failed to take into account the myriad of conditions that led to her behaviors. He was unaware of her overwhelming feelings of guilt regarding her affair, the numerous times she attempted to quit her relationship with him, the manner in which Oscar manipulated her feelings to get her to sleep with him in the beginning, and the persistent pressure he exerted on her to return it to him within two years. He was also unaware of the fact that she had attempted to quit her relationship with him. She was oblivious to the fact that Evan was her true love and that she profoundly regretted everything that she had done to Oscar. In this regard, Evan was oblivious. Given everything that was going on, he ought to have been aware of it. Evie, I would be grateful if you could read the letter that I have written for everything that we used to have. The reason that I do not believe that I am asking for too much is something that I am unable to comprehend. I got rid of the letter, but I was wondering why I brought up the possibility that it could have been therapeutic for you during that period of time. On the other hand, I made the decision to cope with my anger and grief in a different way, would you be interested in hearing the explanation behind my decision? According to my point of view, what does this imply? In no way does it pertain to the case at hand. The circumstances left Miriam completely perplexed and confused. Evan had no idea how she felt when he found them at Oscar House, how she feared for Evan when he beat up his former best friend, hitting him in the head several times, how she didn't want him to go to jail or get sued, how humiliated she was when she received divorce papers in front of her friends at the club, and how sad and lonely she felt when he moved out of their house. Evan was incapable of comprehending how she was feeling. During the time that Trisha was away at college, Bradley was still at home. She couldn't help but feel dismal every time she looked at her kid, who was like a little Evan. Bradley was like Evan without the size. Evan was ignorant of the commitments she had made to better herself in terms of being a better mother, a better wife, and a better person. She had made these commitments in various ways. It is significant to the highest degree. It is necessary for you too. To Miriam, sincerely, I am sorry. The fact that you and Oscar had deceived both of them led me to make the decision to destroy both of your relationships, your marriage and your friendship. It makes no difference what the reasons are because the reasons have never been meaningful in the past. It is sufficient that you carried it out of your own accord. When the song came to an end, Evan let go of Ma's hand and loosened his hold on her. When he had done buying his head to her in a quick manner, he turned around and walked back to his desk. He had just finished bowing his head. As soon as he became aware that Katerina was staring at him, his expression changed from one of neutrality to one of extraordinary brilliance. The dancing floor was gently evacuated by Mary. During the preceding six years, she had been under the impression that Evan was simply emotionally obstinate, yet, he had never experienced her suffering. I never experienced her regret or guilt in any way. I had no idea that she was not interested in doing it. She wanted him to know that it was a dreadful combination of her own fears and a predator who posed as someone who saw an opportunity and pushed her to do something that she had never imagined of doing. She wanted him to know this with all her heart. Moreover, she was unable to find out how to put an end to it on her own. It was not her fault, this was not something that could take place, and Evan needed to be aware of this. Upon turning her head, she noticed Evan conversing with Kat. He was smiling in a playful manner, holding hands in a relaxed manner, and laughing in the same manner that she and Evan had laughed before Oscar had seduced her. It is of utmost significance, she was not to blame for it. She was not a nasty guy, a person like that is not who she is. It is highly recommended that you subscribe to our channel in order to guard against the possibility of your second half cheating on you. Further, you should proceed to listen to the next narrative because the one you are currently listening to is nothing in comparison to the one that comes after it. If you are younger than 18 years old, you should completely exclude the possibility of listening to the following one.